Infinity is incredibly big, so large that we don't even consider it a number. To treat it like a number would be like dividing by zero, we'd be breaking the rules of math. But what if we broke the rules just a little bit and created an infinite series that eventually would add up to infinity? We'd get some pretty strange results. This infinite series of numbers is formed by adding one, then two, then each sequential integer that follows. The sum of this fairly simple series is equal to negative 112, and I can prove it if we break a few math rules. First, we're going to need to find the sum of two other series to help us find our final sum. This first series is called Grandi's series. Its sum is one half. You can find the sum after a fairly long proof, so I made a full video explaining how to find the sum that you can find in the description. By the way, if you want more videos like this, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Anyways, with the sum of Grandi series, we can use it to find the sum of this next series, which we'll just call series number two, or S2 for short. Let's take S2 and then add it to itself. If we offset the bottom S2 to the left by one space, then we get a very convenient sum. One plus zero is just one, negative two plus one is negative one, positive three plus negative two is positive one. This continues on and on, showing that S2 plus S2, or 2S2, is equal to Grandi's series. If we divide by two, then we find that S2 is equal to 1 fourth. Now we have all the tools we need to find our final sum, which let's label C. We'll begin by subtracting S2 from C. Because we're subtracting, all the signs on the bottom can be reversed, then we can add everything up. By doing this, we get 0 plus 4 plus 0 plus 8 plus 0 plus 12 and so on. If we get rid of the zeros, we can see that C minus S2 is just equal to C multiplied by 4. If we put this onto an equation, we find that negative S2 is equal to 3C. We can substitute 1 fourth in for S2, and then divide the equation by 3. Now we have our final sum. C is equal to negative 1 twelfth. This can be pretty difficult to believe and understand if this is your first time seeing this, and to be honest, we did some pretty fishy mathematics to get to this point. First of all, all the series that we found the sums of were divergent series, which essentially means that you're not allowed to find their sum. Secondly, the more complex math that this proof is based off of, the Riemann zeta function, doesn't allow you to find sums outside of a certain domain, which we go outside of to find this answer. Additionally, dealing with infinity in math typically produces results that can't be verified. So, you should take this all with a grain of salt. And while this might not be useful in mathematics, it shows up in quantum physics and string theory. For example, in the Casimir effect, it produces tiny amounts of energy which forces two plates to come together. To sum things up, how we think the world should work is not always the way it does. If you want to learn more about strange math and infinite series, check out this video about Grandi's series. Thanks for watching. Thank you.